Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everything went smoothly during the installation of your Ubuntu distribution. And uh, this is the newly installed uh, Ubuntu. And the only software that I installed in addition is this uh, sc screen recorder, which uh, allows me to share with you guys how, how I install Quantum Espresso in the later. Before diving into the installation of Quantum Espresso, I, I would uh, like to first uh, introduce you some uh, simple commands, uh, some basic operations in Ubuntu, in case some of, some of you guys are not uh, familiar with Linux or Ubuntu. So you see that this is the user interface. This is the s uh, something similar to Windows, and um, this is the Firefox. And uh, if you click Files, you can see those uh, different folders here. Yeah, and um, if you want to uh, install some software, you can click here Ubuntu software, uh, something like the App Store of of Apple. And um, but there is one feature that is hidden here that is called terminal. Terminal is similar as the command line, as uh, as in Windows. You just right here, terminal, and click here, and the terminal is there. There is another uh, shortcut of uh, uh, like keyboard shortcut cut for uh, terminal. That is Control Alt T. And, and you can see the same terminal here. So we uh, maximize the window here. And uh, the first uh, important uh, command here is ls. So basically this lists the uh, contents in the, in the current folder. So here, this is the current folder. It is a small tilde. This means uh, the, the home, home folder. And you see there are desktop documents, downloads, and everything in the home folder, which is actually the same same thing as what what you see here, right? You see the same contents as here because you see this is also the home folder. So you you basically can access the file system both in the um, uh, user interface or through the uh, command line here. Okay, if you want to know more information about. Uh, those contents you can uh, add another argument here slash uh, th this uh, la and uh, enter yeah, you see that there are um, um, there are more informations listed okay and now uh, I would like to introduce one command that is uh, make dir this is make dir directory and for example we want to name it quantum uh, is presso 2019. Okay, and then we list the con content here, and you see that indeed we have a new folder here. Uh, remember that the folder and uh, a normal file has different color code in uh, uh, depending on the terminal, and also you can see here. So the blue things they are folders. And um, okay, so now. We want to go inside that folder. How how can we do this? We use the command cd, cd and quantum espresso. Um, so this is one tip that uh, you don't have to type in the whole name. You just uh, have to hit tab on the keyboard, and then it will automat automatically fill fill the name for for uh, for what you want, um, and enter. So now you see that the um, directory changes to uh, to the uh, Quantum Espresso 2019 folder under the home directory. And uh, you can run this ls, and there's nothing inside. Uh, now I, we want to, uh, want to make a new file inside. You can use this command touch. For example, test. So touch for the dot in. Touch is a command that uh, that basically uh, create a file, create an empty file, and you can see that there is a file here. It is uh, it is it is white, so it is uh, just a file. It is not a directory, and um, this is an empty file. So th so there is nothing inside, and and now we would would like to rename the file. If you are not happy with the name, uh, to 
to rename the file, you can use the basically the command move. So this is the same command as if you you will move the file to somewhere else, but it's the same thing as the rename. Okay, dot in, and the new name let's say test new dot in. So the first argument here is the um, old file name, and the second argument here is the new file name, and uh, return. So you see that we uh, we run out of space here. What you can do is that you can write clear, so to clear everything. And uh, of course, we now we want to list the contents that is ls, and see that uh, the name changes from test dot in to test new dot in. Okay, so now we would like to remove the the file here. That is rn, which stands for remove and test uh, new dot in okay and then we list the contents again there's nothing so we uh, successfully removed it and uh, and now now we want would like to go go back to to the home directory so we want to go one step uh, up and uh, basically it can press cd that is the change directory command and uh, two dots in linux one dot means that this is the current directory and two dots means that it is the uh, higher directory. Okay, and see that we change to the home directory here. And uh, list the things. Now we would like to uh, make another file outside here, like uh, touch test dot in here. And then we will see that okay, there is a new file here, and we want to move this test dot in into this folder. How do we move how, how do we do that? So we use the command m mv which stands for move and toss or in. Remember to use the tab. It automatically uh, fills up the, the name and uh, and quantum espresso. So the first argument is the file that we want to move and the second uh, argument is the folder that we want to move into. And just uh, hit enter and you see the, uh, the there is no longer the file test.in here. So now we would like to check whether the file is already inside the folder. Um, we don't want to... Uh, of course we can go inside the, inside the folder like this and then, um, and then check. But we, uh, we don't want to do that. What we can do instead is that ls quantum espresso. It means that we can list the content of this folder. And you see indeed there is a test.in inside. So we successfully moved the file from, from outside the folder inside of to inside the folder. The last thing that I want to demonstrate is how to um, remove the folder. You, you, may, uh, you may think that it's just this remove folder, but this will not work. Uh, so you need to add another argument here, remove uh, minus r, and minus r means uh, recursive. It moves, uh, removes everything inside the folder as well as the folder. And then we list the content here. Uh, the folder is success successfully uh, removed. Okay, so um, I, I think this, that's the end of today's tutorial. Um, may and th this is far from a complete list of what is uh, needed in uh, in the in the terminal uh, operation in the in Ubuntu. But uh, but I guess this would be a good starting point for you for you guys if you um, have no uh, have no previous knowledge about how to use it. Okay, then uh, I hope you already learned something and uh, hope to see you next time.